Welcome back to www.espressoitalia.com.au. Our toll free 24 hour number is 1300 966. Going to get a little bit technical with you now with this beautiful Seiko Royal Cappuccino and the two cool espresso cooler. I'm going to, we've just made our cappuccino, as you saw, and I would, would like you to rinse the cappuccino out with some water. So I've just put some water in behind the milk there in the two cool espressoitalia.com.au cooler. I'm going to press the cappuccino torre button and I'm just going to run a little bit of water through because you don't want the milk drying up in the cappuccino torre. So I recommend that you do rinse it. So as you can see, I'm just rinsing it out and you can see there's a little bit of milk in there and I'll just run that through until it's clear. So that helps to clean the silicon hose and the cappuccino torre. So that's nice and clean. You don't want the milk to dry up in the cappuccino torre, obviously, because milk does have protein, depending on which milk you're using, obviously, and it will uh, have bacteria. So you want to make sure that the cleanliness of the machine is, is up to speed. So that's how to clean the cappuccino torre, and I explained to you how to remove it and clean it more thoroughly as well. So you need to do that as well. So on the right-hand side of the machine, We've got a couple more features here which I'd like to show you. The first one is this middle button here which has got a little scoop with some uh, little coffee grains there. This is the pre-ground chute. Now you will notice this button, uh, this, this lid here, which is the pre-ground coffee chute. What this does is the scoop for ground espresso coffee, not instant coffee, not Milo, not Ovaltine, not tea bags, not tea leaves, not quick, not anything. Just ground espresso vacuum packs. The 250 gram packs normally they're in those little bricks, those little hard bricks you buy in your supermarket. Um, that's the only coffee you can put into this chute. Now, you will remember that I explained to you you can push any coffee button twice and it will make two coffees with the fresh beans. With the pre-ground compartment, you can only do one coffee at a time. On top here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says OK for one scoop and then it's got a cross with two little scoops. So you can only do one scoop at a time. So how do I make a pre-ground coffee? Push the scoop button, which is the top middle button, and it comes up with pre-ground coffee. Then you put one level measure, not heaped, one level measure of ground espresso coffee into the scoop, put it down the chute, put your lid on, and then press whichever length of coffee you would like. That's how you do your pre-ground coffee. Don't put the coffee in first and then press the pre-ground chute. Always press the pre-ground coffee button first and make sure you put one level scoop of ground espresso coffee. Normally decaffeinated. Uh, if it's late at night or and you want to have a beautiful coffee but you don't want the caffeine, uh, you can buy some pre-ground decaffeinated coffee and you can use that. If you do press it accidentally, just press it again and it will just go back to select product ready for use. Then, let's swivel the machine around. You've got two more features here. So you've got the doser. So you can see here, you have a minus and a plus with some sort of levels in between, some lines which get bigger as you go towards the plus. This will regulate the quantity of ground coffee that goes into the brew unit, so for each cup. So if you have the doser switch on minus, generally you're going to get six grams of ground espresso coffee into the brew unit. If you have it on plus, you're going to get nine. So normally it goes in about half gram increments for each line here. Depending how strong you like your coffee, you can work it out where you like to put it. Now here on top where you have your coffee bean hopper, where your fresh beans are in, you have a little tab here which has numbers from 1 to 8. The coffee grinder is a very delicate uh, piece of equipment, especially when it comes to coffee. You don't want to grind the coffee coarse, and you don't want it to be too fine. You want it to be just right so you get the 
beautiful extraction of the coffee as you saw that we just made before. So the, the grinder is preset. Nine times out of ten will be preset on five. That's the best setting for the grinder to start with. Depending on the, um, the brand of coffee you're using or the, the different types of beans that are in the coffee, uh, mostly with our Espresso Italia coffee, you can leave the, the grinder on five and you can go down to about four to about three and a half. You wouldn't want to go any finer than that because then it will not extract the coffee because it's too fine. This grinder is a very uh, precise grinder. So have it on five. If you do want to move this, it's not like the doser, however. You can only move this when the grinder is spinning. So if you want to move the grinder, make the coffee coarser, you would press to make a coffee. It will start the grinder and you would move the tab either down to, say, four and a half or five and a half. If you want to move it, make the coffee finer, which will make the coffee stronger, put more body, more crema, more aroma, move it from five to four. If you would like less body, less crema, less aroma, move the tab from five to six, but only while the grinder is spinning. www.espressoitalia.com.au and our 24-hour toll-free number, 1300 660 976.